of you to join me. We're on to part 14 now of our Chest of Memories series of videos. We are working on album 2 um, because the, the Chest of Memories has got two albums in it. So we are now working on album 2. Uh, we are um, working on page 2 in our book. Um, if you want to see how we make made the album up, if you head on to this link up here in this corner and head over to part 4 of the Chest of Memories, that goes through in depth on how we made up the albums. Um, so you, if you, and so not just the albums, but also these, the spines as well and the hinges. Um, so head on over to there and if you want to know how to make this then uh, watch that video there. It just um, seems a bit pointless me uh, putting on, putting exactly the same information on again in another video. So head over there and that will explain everything. So with that being said, so this was the page we made in um, part 13, just gone. So we'll be working on the back of that. So you will need to make two of these up. I'm only making four pages, but obviously there's eight there's eight sides in the book. So you I'm just you would just double up. Okay? Or take out some of the um pages that you we made in, in album one and you can incorporate in this. So swap and change. So this is the page we're gonna make. We are going to make, so we have a photo uh, mat here that slots into the little holders here and keeps the page underneath closed. Now you can, if you want to, which is I've done on this page, I've actually kept it as a full page. But on this one, I've split it into two. So again, it's entirely up to you on how you make up your page so but we're going to do this one with the split in the middle and then um, you can make this page if you want to or we might make that at the end of the video see how long this video is so let's get into it so bringing in your trimmer and your cardstock you need to cut these measurements this is for the flat so the, you'll need to measure at six and three quarters. By five and three quarters. Okay. So get rid of your trimmer, bring in your scoreboard. And this is where I always lose them. So we need to um, put our glue tab in. So with the long measurement along the top of your scoreboard and the short me measurement down the side, just trying to bring it into focus a little bit. And if I can bring you out, you you're just very oops, very near. There we go. So with the short edge down the, the side, you're going to score at half an inch. Score that down. Fold that over. Bring in your Teflon coated uh, bone folder if you have one. These are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant because you don't get the shine um, on your black cardstock. Uh, with those that you would do if you used a traditional bone folder. Okay, once you've got your um, piece cut out, I'm just double checking to make sure that, that um, it's a nice fit and that is very nice. So bring in your trim air again and we're going to cut them in, we're going to cut this in half. Now again, you could um, if you didn't want to have it cut half, you could maybe cut it a little bit bigger on one side. It's really up to you. You know, have a play around with your um, with what your pages. So we're, I'm going to just cut mine in half. So I'm going to cut this at two and seven eighths. Okay. 
Okay, that would give me my, my halfway mark. Okay, so it makes that nice and even. Let's put that on there. And then we can then go ahead and stick it down onto our card. Make sure you stick it the right way up. So make sure your page on the back is obviously the right way up. Now you don't stick it that way. Um, I know from experience because I've done it. So I'm just going to use my trusty school tape for this. And I'm going to put my my school tape on the outside of my glue tabs so that's one and two like so and then just we're going to put them on so I'm making sure that's right okay put this off Okay, and I'm just going to stick one down first, so just bear with me just a second, I'm going to have to have a, um, a tongue out moment because um, I need to concentrate. So I'm just marrying up the, the two edges, so the top edge and the side edge as much as I can by eyeing it, come on. Like so. And is that nice and on? It is. And then you can just marry this one up with it, the other side. Like that. and this is not going to plan I've got a big bit down that side so this is what happens sometimes you just have to have a play about sometimes you don't get them in the right place but because I hadn't burnished this down I was able to pick it to take it off so again let me start with this side let's so get it as near as you can to that edge, like so, and as straight as you can, and then let's do this side, that might work a bit better, there we go, I think that's it, that's it, there we go, got it now, I have a gap in the middle but that's um, not too, too bad, I can live with that I think, okay. Because what you can do is just burnish that little bit up like so. And then that will give you a nice straight edge. There we go. So that then is our two pieces on. And they flap up like so. Burnish them down when you're happy. There we are. I'm just moving that over a little bit. There we go. And there. So now we need to work on our little triangles. So the triangles, if we cut our cardstock, so if you've got an off cut of card, you can use that just as long as it um, measures three and seven eighths. So we need to cut this at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So we need a square. Three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and then we're going to cut it down the middle sorry not down the middle we're going to cut it diagonally not diagonally diagonally so I'm just matching up the two points and then you cut them down the middle oh diagonally diagonal di Argon Alley. So then we need to make our glue tab. So again, this is going to be at half. So on one side of your 
triangle um, you do a half an inch score and then along the bottom you do a half an inch score and I don't know if I've got that right I think I've done yes I need a it's okay that doesn't matter I can so it's half an inch on either side not um, a quarter and then just fold them over like so and then just get your scissors and trim off that corner so this corner here if you can see it here this corner here um, we're going to cut that off diagonally okay it cuts the bolt down and also this part so the bit that's hanging over the edge and the bit that's hanging over the edge okay like so so you should end up with something that looks a little bit like that on the back okay so do that for both of them And a half. Make sure you get the half one this time tomorrow. Okay, fold them over. Fold them over. Cut off that excess part at the top. Cut off that excess part down there. And then cut across like so. rid of your scoreboard okay once you've we've now cut out our little triangle um, card holders or flap holders should I say before we attach them we're going to um, decorate and put our pattern paper onto our uh, page at the bottom our base page now on my other one that I did um, I actually attached the flaps, I actually attached the triangle holders onto the flaps. I think what I should have done is attach them underneath. Um, but again, and, and I just added magnets, so if you want to, you can do that. You can attach them there and then have the flaps go up um, and then just have magnets holding them closed. So that's just another different option if you wanted to. I'm actually going to put these ones onto the base page so these fit in that way. So we need to measure this to get our measurement and this is, excuse the state of my ruler, it's very splattered. I should get a new one actually. So for the pattern paper we'll need to cut this at five and five eighths five and five eighths by six and one eighth by six and one eighth okay so let's bring in my pattern paper over here and my trimmer Oh, it looks like a bomb's hit it on the other side of my... I should show you, really, uh, what a, a day of crafting actually uh, looks like. So, let's just get this one. So, what did we say? This is not... Uh, well, it is a bit directional, so I'll need to put this in this way. So, this will be the 6 and 1 8. So, let's cut it that way. 6 and 1 8. By five and five eighths. Okay, let's check. Yes, that fits in there just perfectly. So let's get my ink. I think I could do with a, a re inker. I love this paper from Stamperia. It uh, is called Imagine, and there's some lovely. It's just my colours right uh, up my street. These colours are. I love the the greens and sort of the vintagey colours. They 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 just speak to me. I think. So let's glue that on. 
take that off. Hopefully this comes out. Yeah, this might come out really quick because I've cut the uh, nozzle down a, a lot where it's got blocked in the past. So. There we go, that's that side on, like that. Then we can go ahead and add the little triangle holders. So you need to put your double-sided tape on the outside of the glue tabs. Now actually what you could have done, which is would be a good thing, which I actually could do, is put them underneath and then stick them to so stick the glue tabs underneath like so that no it won't work so no that's you need um, you need that extra space there so yeah stick it back on ignore 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 it's funny because I do these and I, I do them, uh, I make them up so that I've made them up so I know what I'm sort of doing and what I'm making. But then I always find a different way of doing them um, as well when I make the, the, the visit, the new, the, like, the one that I'm going to use online. Um, I always find different ways to make them. It's so odd. So that one goes in there. And I do apologise if you can hear um, some drilling in the background. I have, I've got um, a lovely man here today um, just doing a bit of work for me. He, he, he's, uh, he's so handy, he really is. So you know who you are and it's my friend's husband he, he's been um, he's been so helpful as well and he's, he's doing an amazing job so if you can hear some drilling in the background that's what it is right so that then is that which this is not fitting correctly I may not have got that right so let's just take that off Good job I didn't push it right down. There we are. Okay, that goes underneath. Turn that over because I don't want. Okay, that there. That's. There we go. We've got that now. Okay, I think once we get, um, just burnish that bit down, just that little bit there, just needs a little bit of tweaking and then we'll get it um, right. Okay, so I'm pleased with that. So then these pop out like so, but then they're held in place by them. So you can put the top there, you can put a photo mat if you want to as well. But then these, we need to cover these. So this measurement is, let's find out what the measurement is. Because we cut it in half, didn't we? So, right, bear with, bear with, because obviously we haven't got the glue tab. So that would be six and a quarter. Let's measure it. That's, that would be the easiest thing to do tomorrow. Just use your brain. So six and a six and a. So it's silly woman. It's the same. So it's six and one eighth. And I think it was. It would be two. It would have been two and a three quarters. Okay, so six and one eighths by two and three quarters. I'm going to use this as well because um, this is what I've got cut already. So, 
So let's just check. Six and one eighth is that side by two and three quarters. So we'll need four of these, so that's one. And that's two. So they can go on the front. Hopefully I've got them the correct way. And I haven't. That goes that way. That goes there. Loving all the comments that people are leaving me. I'm having, I've got some, had some lovely comments that have been left for me. So thank you to everybody that's, uh, you know, taken the time to uh, leave me some comments. It's been lovely. So anyway, so that's um, the front. And take them out. We need to do the back. So again, it's the same measurement. I'm just going to use some offcuts that I've got here. So we need it at. This is lovely. This one. And then it just uses up a little bit of our scraps, but also keeps, just looks nice as well. So you can put a tiny little photo mat on there, which we can do in a moment. But I just want to shut these in. Just push them in, like so. They will fit. There we are, like that. And they fit nice and snugly together. So that looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's put it against a black piece of card so that you can see it a little bit better. Like so. There we are. So that looks good. It's always the way, isn't it? You work. I seem to work where I just end up in this tiny little space. It doesn't matter how much I try. It still ends up... looking like a bomb has hit it so let's have a little bit of a tidy up hopefully when you come back I'd have tidied up and uh, it won't look like a bomb I need that I need that one that's a bit better there we go there we are let's just them over that that there that there there we go there I feel as though I'm back to having a nice tidy space you just move it all off to the side so that it looks like it's clear um, right so now we need to do the photo mat that's going to go into the pocket like so and then that's also going to help keep those uh, flaps in place we will um, make up the little um, covers that go on there as well so the photo mat, this is five and a half by five and a half and obviously it fits on there. So again, just if you've got some off cuts of card, that's that, that size or maybe something a little bit smaller. If you want to use something that's smaller, you can do. Maybe that's five and a half. Oh yes, near enough. So five and a half by five and a half. That gives me one that can go in there. 
like so. And then we need, but that, but then we won't need another one until we do the other side. So that can fit on there. To do and your you pattern paper for the little triangles, the measurement's going to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So let's cut this down. So two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then work out how you want. Oh, that's nice. Look how I'll cut that. I might um, use this piece instead. There we go. So if you've got like text and things like that, you need to work out how which way you're going to cut it. So if you want the text to be sort of um, going the, the right way, you'll need to cut it obviously from that diagonal to that diagonal rather than, so you'll need to cut it this way and then that would give you your correct uh, placement. But again, if, um, so I'm just going to use this side um, only because I quite like that on that, on there. Mm, but I like that. Right, I'm going to just cut into it and use it this way, so that, no, I'm going to use this one. So, let's cut this up. This doesn't matter which way it's going to go, so line the two points up, like so, and then they all fit on. Then you can use both sides of the square. Um, because you will only have to use one side of that because this side will be off because you'll use that that pit. This bit here, you'd have to turn around so it would be wrong. So you'd have to use a different, um, you'd have to cut two squares if uh, you, you know what I mean. Right, so let's ink these edges. Oh, I've just found my other glue. Okay, glue that up. Put this on. Like so. Yeah, so that nice and straight. Again on this side. So there we are. So that's them. So now we just need to um, put our photo mat together with our different uh, with our cards. Just trying to get that so that is central. There we are. Like so. Okay, so this was five and a half by five and a half. So your pattern paper needs to be five and uh, three eighths by five and three eighths. Like so, and I think I've cut that down too small. I've done that at four. And, okay, see so if I've got another piece in here that's roughly the same size. I keep all my off cuts and things. Let's try this one. Five and five and three eighths by five and three eighths. So five and three eighths by five and three eighths. I can get that lovely lady's face in there. Like so. This bit down 
and again you could use you could paper piece this so if you've got lots of off cuts then paper piece um, because you're going to put photo mats over the top of these so you're not actually going to see too much of your uh, picture um, so you could just you know you could just find different pieces of off cuts um, and then stick them on like so and then maybe put um, let's do that and we can and I can show you what I mean so that's the lady's face there so let's go five and three eighths on that so again that just comes down there and then the top you can just put a photo mat on so you could do a four by four or four and a half by four and a half that would um, be a nice photo mat size so let's stick that on like so and then let me just get some white card you could put um, another piece along the top up there if you wanted to. Oh, that's nice. Keep that. Um, you know, like that. I've got a piece here that's just uh, an off cut that you can just add on the top. So let's just add that on the top. Like so. And then I feel as though, because that you don't get uh, many... Um, many sheets of the Stamperia paper um, I, I feel that I have to use every single tiny little piece of scrap and um, to, to get your money's worth really and so if you can use everything you feel as though you're getting your value for money so that's on the top so let's get some white card now the white card I'm using is just a um, 220 GSM. It's just a, a just a plain white card stock. So it's not very thick, but um, it works brilliantly for your photo mats. So let's do a four and a half by four and a half, or four and a half. Um, let's do four and a half by four and a half. We can have a, a square photo mat so that that can fit. Maybe you could have it offset, sort of like that, or offset at the at the top, or you know in the middle. It's entirely up to you. Make sure I've got that the right size. So let's do that. Now I have got um, some little corner. Um, Somewhere in my little bag of tricks, I did have some little corner mounts, and the only ones I can find are oh, there we go, up here. So the clear ones, I've got coloured ones in there. So these are little photo corner mounts that um, I sometimes I like to use because you can then take out these. Um, you don't have to then use. Um, let me get my words out. Oh, Tamara. Right, you can take, so if you want to change your photos, you can do. If you want to put in some words, you can do. If you um, you just want to change, maybe take out the photos all, you know, all together, you can do. You could add script in, um, some writing, some text in there, instead of um, just having the photos um, in there. So again, you know, it just makes the, the book more appealing but just don't do what I do and stick it all down before. So how I do it is I put the little photo um, mounts, I stick them onto the corners. I don't know if you can see them. There. Can you see them there? there? I should have used the coloured ones and then you'd see. So that's the little, they're clear. So I stick them onto the edge of your photo mat and these are sticky on the back make sure they stuck down really well and then we can place it down like so now i have also got a punch 
that um, we I sometimes use. That's also a good thing. They've got photo corners in that you can push um, down. I seem to have got black all over it. So what did we say? Four and a half. By four and a half. There we go. So then they fit just into the little mounts like so and then you can take them out you don't have to keep them in like that there we are so that's then one and then that will fit into our little slots like that let's move this all out of the way and then when you want to take it all up we just take that out, take these out, like so, one, two, and then we can put a photo uh, mat mount here, like that, I mean that one fits just perfectly in there, or you can have a long one, so if you wanted to just do some text, you could put like some text in there, so let's do that, let's cut this one down, so I'm going to cut this to six and one eighth, no, I'm not. Six and, sorry, five and three quarters. I might need to cut that down a bit more. Yeah. So five and five eighths. No, again, five and a half. I'll get there in a minute. Five and a half. So I don't know what depth that is, but again, you can just choose that depth um, as and when you are doing your own photo mats. Like so. So let's stick that on. So that's so you can put some text in here um, if you so wish. So then that goes in there. That goes in there. And again, you can put bits on this side. You've got this side to put some more photo mats on. So if you wanted to, you could have something coming down the side. Have I got something that's small? So that might be too small, but let's try that. So you could have that there, like so. And then you can still see that beautiful face on there. So let's stick that bit on. Like that, and if you've got some of those Instagram, um, you know, one of the, the Instagram cameras and things, you could, uh, you know, maybe put that on there or something like that, and then have text underneath. So we could do that same thing here with adding some lines. I might just add some little dots again, do it from this end and this side. Just add some little dots, just so that you've got somewhere, or somebody else has got somewhere to write some, you know, some little personal notations and things. So, um, again, you know, something like that looks really, ha really nice. You could, you know, draw around it with some pens. You can pick out some bits of a face and things like that. So there's lots of things you can do. So I'm going to have that this side, like so. And put that in. So then that is our, well, it'll be our fourth page. It's only our second page that we've made, but um, it will be our fourth page that um, we would have made because you'll make two of these and two of those. So, um, so that then is our four pages. Um, sort of we've done so we've got two more to go so please like this video if um, you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not a subscriber appreciate it helps me out immensely if you subscribe um, come and follow me on Facebook Instagram and all those places I'm on all of those so all the links will be linked down below so uh, click on those links and um, I will see you on the next one bye